what's up everyone welcome back to another video I have seen that so many of you are not subscribed they watch but are not subscribed please make sure that you subscribe it helps me a lot especially if you're interested in this content and like and share as well as uh, commenting with anything that you want okay so as the title suggests we are going to see how we can configure and set up flat pack on slackware as long as you have come here you know already what they are both in brief uh, slackware is uh, old style distribution it's totally different with most of the distributions that we're familiar with nowadays like for example the dependency or the main thing that you will see different in it is the dependency resolution it's not ha it's not done automatically as well as the init system it's different it's not system d most of the distributions let's say 80 percent use system d all right so the installation of flat pack you have many options for it so i will show you each one of them but i'm not going to do the demonstration for each one of them i'm just going to show you what i have found about it there is uh, the method of slack build i guess for that one you need two things or three things first the slack build uh, script the source code of flat pack as well as the dependencies which can be in the form of a slack build and the source or maybe the package that's ready like the packages of slack where mostly come in the form or the extension dot txz dot dot tgz and so on so the first thing let's check the slack build okay it's the f one of the first uh, uh, google sucks come on it's one of the first uh, results that appears to you whenever you look for flat pack for uh, slackware okay when it comes to there is a similar uh, distribution to slackware based on slackware and it helps you get rid of the dependency resolution or the manual dependency resolution it's called salix os we can make a video about it and it's so much easier than this it uses the package or the front end package manager called or known as uh, slap get it's very similar to apt get okay i tried to install it on slackware it did not work maybe we can make a video and try to install it comment down if you want okay so there are so many yeah this one i guess this can can be the one that i'm talking about yeah this one so for when it comes to install it's like builds it's like build it's a little bit uh, hard that's why I'm not going to do it this way and I have found uh, yeah I have found the package that I'm going to show you the npkgs you may need to look for this thing and you may need to use this website whenever you want to look for a package that you cannot find in your distribution maybe a user has done this thing and it's ready to be used or when it comes to slackware slackware doesn't come in general with the package manager that you s simply use by default okay it doesn't come with the package manager that you simply use and it uh, downloads all the files and everything for you and starts them for you you do that by yourself you search for the file and then you install them by yourself it has the installation utility of course so uh, let's look for flat pack and it's going to be an opportunity for us to see all the distributions that have their packages ready here like for example here Alma Linux 9 uh, this thing upstream maybe that's the yeah it's a repository all right and Alpine you can install it on Alpine the second one is by using this thing how can we or what are the i guess os3 we need to look for os3 let's get the dependencies here 
needs all these things bubble rack, brad, flat pack, OS3, XDG, desktop portal, GTK so OS, OS3 no, lib OS3, I don't know if it's the one that is meant here and then, okay, so that's the first, these are the two methods, we keep looking for them one by one and take, take or get the ones that finish with TXZ or G, uh, TGZ or something here they are TXZ, the packages of uh, Slackware that are ready to install generally finish or have the last few letters which are called in general the extension TXZ, TGZ and so on or maybe TBZ uh, we keep looking for them one by one we have this one, it has the Slack builds Slack builds are a little complicated when it comes to the installation you need to get the source code and so on and then you compile them and then you get the file which becomes .txd for example and you install it I'm not gonna go through all that hassle alright so the third method the third method is the this one I have installed Slack PKG plus check it in the cards I'll put it for you and when we look for it here I'm a root user Slack PKG search uh, flat pack we can find it here we can install it, I'm not sure if it's gonna grab or pull all the dependencies but we can try it. flat pack well, I don't know if it grabs the other dependencies alright Uh, overwrite, let's check this one, this one you need, you need to understand about it, alright, so let's try to look for OS3 not there, maybe it's lib OS3 sometimes the name is, yes, it's there so, Slack PKG uh huh, it says here error, let's try it again Slack PKG plus you install each dependency yourself, ok so let's not let's skip this one and go to bubble wrap it's a sandbox and utility tool all right so i guess we will so it's gonna be mixed here okay x x d that's one let's copy this and come back here okay yeah we find it here yeah, there is a problem with the connection. I don't know, maybe the server from which I'm trying to download is not working. So I will get the dependencies from here. We need them, okay? Take this one. I'm going to pause the video once it's once I finish downloading all the dependencies. I'm going to show you, okay? I'll be right back. All right, I have downloaded the packages. I'm going to show you. They are right here. We have bubble wrap we have lib os3 so let's change to be root here or let's go to our root user here instead go to home tc ls and then install uh, just the pkg dash i, -I lib os3 let's install it we keep up with the rest install install it ls let's remember again so the last one bubble wrap bubble wrap yes alright so when it comes to the next steps let's run this command this is the moment of truth either it works or not Uh, doesn't exist so leap upstream we need leap upstream sit here let's look for it so or let's run the command as root yes leap upstream glib okay so we look for it copy it the way it is let's get le put less words we get more search not found 
all right so let's look for it and the how what okay so i was thinking about that if xd this package has dependencies or not okay leave upstream search upstream i guess there is more than one so it should be glib glib not g dash oh no there isn't for slackware all right so let's take it lib up stream let's look for it okay it's not it's not big though I guess this is the one if I'm not mistaken let's take it and then like usual here paste no. like this okay and then let's uh, let's like this like this upstream this yep so let's give it another shot and see if it's gonna work all right so flat back install brave let's start yes yes now it's working press by it's yes it's working already so this was the installation of Flatpak on Slackware. Okay, so we needed this package, which is upstream uh, glib, which was, when it was saying here, it doesn't find uh, where, yeah, lib upstream glib.so. This is a library, okay? So it says it doesn't find it. It's about upstream. I will pause the video and then I will prove to you that the package is installed successfully. Flatpak package, okay? Alright, the installation of Brave as a flat back is done already. It's supposed to be somewhere here. Stand by. Flat back done. And we take this to run it. Okay. Yeah, it's working with small errors, like minor errors that will not prevent the app from working which are these ones you need to put these ones in the uh, you need you need to restart the session we have here brave installed we can install any flat pack package okay and it's working fine so we had uh, all these dependencies i will put their links in the description i will put also the, in the description this thing from this project from this person okay as well as you will, you're gonna find in the cards the installation of slack pkg plus because i used it to install the initial uh, flat pack package okay thanks for watching and cheers